to a new frontier of gaming, into the world of teraflops, ray tracing, and other techie buzzwords that we don't quite understand. I'll make sense of it all by unpacking the Xbox Series X. Oh, and let's take three minutes instead, because it isn't often that we get a new console. Call it a router or a fridge, whatever meme you choose, we can all agree it's big, and that's okay. Yes, I would have preferred a smaller console, but its simple, sleek black design with a touch of green stylishly blends into everything else on my TV stand, which I like. I also like the familiar feel to the controller with added tweaks that build on its already perfect design, like the grip around the trigger buttons and back. Series X's interface, however, feels too familiar. There are small tweaks that make the menu more refined, and it's a step in the right direction, but bulky drop-down menus continue to make navigating on Xbox time-consuming. Console releases often focus on graphics, but the Xbox Series X is much more than that. Don't get me wrong, games look great on the Series X. The console supports full 4K with up to 120 FPS. Ray tracing makes reflections and lighting and shadows more realistic that gives walking down the streets of London in Watch Dogs Legion an added touch. But even this doesn't compare to its speed. It's fast, there's no doubt about it. Loading times are significantly cut down, with Gears 5 usually taking 38 seconds to boot up on the One X, but only takes 7 seconds on the Xbox Series X. It saves time, like the console's Quick Resume feature. Quick Resume gives you the option to suspend your game and play another game, then return to your previous game where you left off. It's great if you play lots of different games at once, or if your power goes out and interrupts you mid-game, as mine did. I hesitated that I lose my winning streaks in Olog, a mini game in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but as soon as the power came on, I picked up right where I left off. Xbox Series X is the most powerful Xbox, and with everything it offers, plus the value Xbox adds with Game Pass, it's worth the price tag. But that doesn't mean you should rush to buy it. There is a lack of exclusive launch titles, and games won't utilize its hardware until months down the road. So take the extra time to save up and buy the console later because the future of gaming on the Xbox Series X will be great when more titles come to it. Until you step inside.